Well, thank you, Bill, and good morning. The Watergate documents were sealed in 1974, and based on a court order from a federal judge here in Washington, D.C., this week, these records were unsealed. They are known as the so-called Watergate Roadmap, and the group behind its release say it may provide a guide for special counsel Robert Mueller. Two writers at the blog Lawfare, who were part of the project, admit that they don't know precisely what sort of report Mueller is working on or what his plans may be in the future, but they argue there are relevant lessons from the Watergate papers. Quote, First, less really is more. The document is powerful because it is so spare, because it is trying to inform, not to persuade. Second, the roadmap is extremely careful not to do, or seem to do, Congress's job for it. The power to impeach is a congressional function. Finally, the roadmap teaches an important lesson about restraint. There is a tendency in the age of Donald Trump to assume that excess is needed to combat excess. It is powerful partly because it is so by the book. For context, those close to the president's legal team insist that there is no legal basis for an obstruction of justice case related to his decision to fire the FBI director, James Comey Bill. Uh, Catherine, what do we know mm -hmm. about the timing of any reports? And who, who's going to have the last word, do you think? Well, that's a good question. Current and former Justice Department officials told Fox that they did not expect any announcements or a special counsel report prior to the midterms because it would violate the longstanding principle not to announce indictments or investigation prior to elections. And as you know, former director FBI, FBI director James Comey was faulted for disregarding these principles. The key player in all of this is the Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, who is Mueller's boss and will have a major say in the decision to make a report public if Mueller writes a report with conclusions. Adding to the mix, House Republicans on the Judiciary and Oversight Committees pushed hard and unsuccessfully for a transcribed interview under oath with Rosenstein before the elections, and they make a persuasive argument that he has a conflict of interest in the Russia case because of his role renewing one of the key surveillance warrants, Bill. We're going to pick this up after midterms. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. <laughs>